So this is a sample of my favourite element, this is phosphorus. Phosphorus is a very, very reactive element, especially this type of phosphorus, which is white phosphorus. Phosphorus itself, elemental phosphorus, exists as a number of different allotropes, so a bit like carbon with diamond and graphite. And here we have one of those allotropes, it's white phosphorus. It exists as discrete molecules of four phosphorus atoms connected like a pyramid. And those four phosphorus atoms are really strained and really reactive and they want to really react with oxygen as quick as they can. This is the sort that is used in phosphorus bombs. It burns very easily and gives a very intense <coughs> white light out of it. Though you can put it out quite easily by putting water on it, provided that it hasn't got too hot and the water will just evaporate. Very reactive form. The other allotropes, black and red phosphorus, are not as, as, um, as reactive and are much, much easier for us to handle. Then there's red phosphorus, which is very much less reactive, which is what is used in matches. <coughs> it's used to make the heads of um, so-called um, non-safety matches, which the ones that you can strike on any sort of material, on bricks and so on. And they tend to be this rather red colour here. So the phosphorus, it's, you'll notice that it's stored under water, and it's stored under water to keep the oxygen and the atmosphere away because it reacts very vigorously and can burn, hence the signs. It's very, very flammable. It's so flammable, in fact, that it burns just with the heat of the skin. So you can see a number of scars across my hands, these are all from playing with phosphorus and doing reactions and experiments with phosphorus. Phosphorus is very important to point inside um, your body. Some of you may have read Aldous Huxley's book called Brave New World, which when people died they were sent to the phosphorus reclamation plant. And each average sized person contains <coughs> somewhat over a pound of phosphorus inside their bodies. And nowadays, people can use magnetic resonance imaging to look and see how the phosphorus is used inside the body. So I've, I've taken a small sample of my white phosphorus and I've dissolved it in an organic solvent, which is carbon disulfide. Because the P4 is molecular and it dissolves really quite nicely in this nice molecular solvent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside and we're going to put this on a piece of filter paper and then let the carbon disulfide evaporate so we can see the reaction of the phosphorus with the oxygen and the paper. And the average person um, produces inside their body about <coughs> 70 kilos a day of a molecule called ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the energy producing molecule inside the body. Now, you don't keep 70 kilos inside you or you would explode, but you're using it up all the time. But in the course of the day, you synthesize nearly 70 kilos of this molecule. So as the, the carbon disulfide evaporates from the paper, well, there's a couple of drips. <laughs> and you can see that the phosphorus is oxidized in the air and it's taken some of the paper with it to generate a nice P for phosphorus.